What's up, Vets YouTube fan, Active Duty? Y'all know what it is. Million dollar question today is Can you file for IBS Anchor together? The answer is Of course you can. And you can get the 60% criteria. Tune in. If this is what you're looking for, I'm about to go through it. I'm about to go, I'm about to get deep in the throat, deep in the booty hole. So let's get it. So, starting off, GERD, you can look it up in the CFR 38. It's going to be under hiatal hernia. That's an official classification for GERD. For IBS, they changed that. Now it's irritable colon syndrome. So for all my all my vets out there that got booty hole issues, hey, look it up, CFR 38. Now, when it comes to connecting both of them, submitting a claim, definitely, if you're trying to seek direct service, you're going to need the big three, which is personal statement, in-service event, as well as a proper diagnosis. A buddy statements as well. However, if you're out and you're trying to do it on a secondary basis, even better. All you gotta do is tie your current disability. Usually it always, usually GERD and IBS, it triggers off of medication that you're receiving. So it could be a possible secondary to PTSD, to any back issues. If you're taking like high, you know, high dosage, strong medication for your back pain, hips and knees, anything like that. If you're taking any type of medication, GERD and IBS is a good secondary to it. Now, when you combine them two, the VA is only going to rate you, they're going to lump them together, but they're going to give you one rating. You can't get 30% for IBS and then another 60% for GERD. No, they're just going to put it together. So the way you get stone cold, hardcore evidence, you can conduct, well, have put in a request with your primary care provider. After a couple of complaints, request for uh, endoscopy. That's a camera going down your throat and a cold colonoscopy. I think it's a colonoscopy. Pretty much a camera going in through the booty hole. So, obviously, you're going to be asleep for this. You know what I mean? Unless you got some savages out here, you know, y'all staying awake for the whole, the whole, the whole duration, looking like a holiday ham or, you know, <laughs> one of them hogs, one of them, you know, Hawaiian hogs, you roast them. You know, no, they're going to put you to sleep. They're going to stick a camera down your throat and then one in the, you know, one down there. And, you know, they're going to be looking around, looking for tearing, looking for issues down there. And that's going to be your hardcore evidence. So whenever you do submit your claim, you're going to have that that exam done. And it's exact. That's exactly what the VA is looking for when they're trying to give you the highest percentage possible. Now, minus that, if you don't have that, you have a lot of complaints, good personal statement, possibly some late statements. You could still get service connected on a direct or secondary basis. They may just give you a 30 or 40 percent criteria. You know, just depends on what you submit to them and how deep your your complaints are, as well as your medical history. You know, any complaints of bleeding, throwing up, unintentional or you know unexplained weight loss. It, it blends together. You're only gonna get one rating for both, so might as well put them in together. And with that being said, that's all I got for you today. If you like this kind of content, y'all know what to do. I ain't got to keep telling y'all, do I? Ah! This is Deep Bolt out. Stay safe out there.